Good morning and welcome to the Atlanta Candlepin Singles Tour Class B Division Southern Conference. Today from Sunnyside Bulldrum in Danvers, Mass. Paul Green with you live on the ACST Facebook page. Today visiting from Millis at Ryan Film Amusements is the number seven seed Kyle Hetty. Not Heady, it's Hetty. Just like Lamone, it's Lamoni. Kyle Hetty takes on Cincinnati Bengals fanatic Kevin Dietrich. It'll be a five string format, two points for a win, one for a tie, four for total. Kyle Hetty will lead off first as the visiting bowler. First of two matches today on the ACST Facebook page later tonight at 7.30. I'll be on the road again. This time the lead of lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire, take on Nick Leach hosting the wizard Chris Winniars. 7.30 tonight on the ACST Facebook page. Oh, starting off on lane 11. That's the 1, 3, 6, and 7. First of five underway from Sunnyside. Hold here. It's a lot younger. Look at Salem. Nice shot, spare. Right out of the gate. Delayed start with the snow. It's morning matinee. We'll put the scores on the screen every five boxes or so. In the pocket. Seven. Seven, nine, ten. Seventeen through one in the first of five. Another spare. Nothing doing. Wood coming out of play. Look at a prize who makes this shot. About 37 years old. Coming as number seven seed. 68 and 58. Bulls in the same division as Dave Edison, the number four seed at 65 and 47, so he's not far behind. Phil Clough, the number six seed at 78 and 62. And the return of Glenn Gill, just born since summertime. The number 10 seed knocking on the door of the playoffs at 56 and 56. Glenn, a heartbreaking loss in New Year's Eve by one pin. To Mike DiGiani, watch that thriller on Candle and Bowling Network and the ACST Facebook page. Glenn Gill is back on his game after a long, many years off. So watch out for him down the road. If not this season, next season for sure. So we're waiting for Kevin to move that wood. Second box, first string, second ball. Just everything. Try to get at least one here. Kyle Hetty. Another seven drop. You like sevens. Three seven drops to start. 24 through two with the last seven blocks. Try. Come on, buddy. That's the five and seven. And nice out. Ten. Pretty shot. Thirty-four through three in the first of five. If you'd like to bowl on the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, message Danny Finn on Facebook Messenger. F I N N. He's the CEO, Director, President, Supervisor. Employee, all thanks to ACST. Danny Finn, outstanding job. Having a tough year bowling, but he was brilliant last year, coming out of nowhere. Way under 500 the first half, storm back to make the number six seed and lost the finals by four pins and a throw to Fernando Cachada. As Kyle has a 3 3 split, he gets two. Oh, great job by Danny Finn. He's the one to contact at Ryan Film Amusements, Millis Mass, or Facebook Messenger for the ACST. Kyle and 842 through four here on the first. Three for four in the head pin. In Maine, it's Matt, Matt Huff or Mark Weber. 16 teams up north. Class A, Class B, Class C down here. Hopefully a Class D next year as well. Good for the sport. And back to a nine. He'll take it. I don't count that as a head pin hit. I don't know if that was, was that what good? It was a high piece of wood. I guess it was in. So he got it for a spare. 52 half, the number seven seed on the road from Millis to Danvers. Kyle Hetty, strong start. Two spares, 52 in a ball. 
Here's Kevin Dietrich. There'll be a reset here. Kevin works at the post office. He may go, he's trying to go postal today on Kyle Hetty. And I don't mean by the way he talks. I asked him why he's such a Cincinnati Bengals fan. He always liked lions and tigers, but not bears. So that's why he picked the Bengals. A little fun fact. Kyle do much better, averaging 110 this Sunday once with Augusta League. Mark Carrier's house. His first ball match on the head pin. He's got the 3 6 and the 7. Kyle, 3 for 5 in the head pin. His first five. Trying to sweep it over. I missed it. Thought it was the uh, football game. Went for the field goal. Bengals did hold on last night. 24 17 over the Ravens. Dunks it for 7, down 10 already. Up against a 52 plus one half. Kyle Hedy. Kevin from Danvers, Mass. Richley Medford, Mass. Left hander on lane 11 here at Sunnyside. Goes left, grabs four. Right, he's the hay bale. Got one last year. His average is 105. This year, he's stormed up to 109 at Metro Bowling Peabody. 110, like I said, at 1710. The Gusta Main, a great name for bowling alley. Lousy fill, though. Nice out 10, 17 through two, down seven. Box to box. There's gonna need at least two marks to keep pace with Kyle Hetty. Left gets three former 10 pin bowler Kevin Dietrich bowling since he was 11 years old earned a college scholarship. Nice second ball, 4 7 10. Earned multiple house in travel championships. Found the ball that's Old South Boston Yacht Club. Look at the nine 26 through three, down eight, box to box. Follow the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour all year round on the ACST Facebook page. Like, share, subscribe. You'll get notified when we go live. The Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Facebook page. Again tonight, 7.30. The Wizard on the road from Manchester to New Hampshire, to Ash, New Hampshire. To take on Nick Leach. Two great bowlers. Kevin, 247, missed it. Only got the seven. Kevin Kimmel, 46 80, number 14 right now. Plenty of time left. 10, 36 through 4. He has bowled better this year, but has not done well when he's bowled a lot of matches in Millis. He struggled in Millis, which has become a much faster house. When I bowled there with Rick Kamarowski and Dan Castle. Then it's green. That's a nice ball there. I got the Star, Star Trek character, the 7 of 9. Kevin, ACST average, 106.73. Try to sweep it over. Good effort. Won't go. It's an open half. And the home bowler down, 52.45. Plus the ball from Kyle Hetty coming up next and switch lanes to lane 12. You're watching the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Martin Luther King Day Special. First of two matches, a day night doubleheader on the ACST Facebook page. All the way live from Scarborough Saturday, the women's top five Candlepin Cancer Show. Watch that on the Candlepin Bowl Network. Made the Carol number one seed. Thrilling match. She was great in that finals. How about Mario Johnson running the ladder almost all the way through? And yesterday, a record crowd, 46 bowlers. At the Agua, I'm king of the bowl. You can watch those matches in the playoffs. A couple of great one string matches in those playoffs on Canopy Bowling Network. You know, well over $3,000 raised this weekend between Scarborough and Agua Bowl for Canopy for Cancer. 40 Wow shirts sold yesterday alone in Agua on the record, and 13 in Scarborough on Saturday, plus donations. So thank you to all the bowlers and the enthusiastic crowd. 
to those watching from Agawam Bowl. Outstanding uh, generosity and just very fe festive atmosphere yesterday. And it made the four hour commute round trip plus driving home in the snow well worth it. Yep. Kyle Hitty on a bonus. In the park at seven. The triangle, two, four, five, and the ten. Fifty eight and a half of thirteen. Four for six and a head pin. Clips out one. Now it's the two, five, and the ten. Look at Nate. Sixty six through six. One oh eight point seven one ACST average overall. He's a one oh eight league average, so right on close, to, right on track. As far as league comparison, overall high single 167, high triple 410, high 5606. He did it earlier this year in the Atlantic Kennel and Singles Tour. Great competition. Brings up the best in you. 137. Beautiful shot. He got it with the wood. Third spare of the string. 76 in the ball through seven. Beautiful shot by Kyle Hetty. And a 150 high single in that match also. On the bonus, across the over, he's got five, maybe six. Six pin holes up, five on the fill, 81 through seven. For the mark. Oh, he got it again. The violin shot right across. Back-to-back -back spares, three out of four, four on the string, 91 of the ball through eight. Make some great shots. Great guy on and off the lanes as well, Kyle Hetty. In a tough division. Three in that spare, 94 through eight. The visiting bowler, another mark. Not easy, has the 179. Nothing doing there. Seven, 101 through nine. Spare seven, spare six, spare five, spare three in the string. Going down the trajectory on the marks. Two seven boxes also as low to score. And an eight. Still a good score overall. Obviously, the bowling, you want more in those fills. His 10 box for a string. Eight, nine, ten. Strike. Making my mind. The last to go in the back. Wasn't sure what to do. Caved in under pressure. 111 plus two in the tenth. Five marks in the string. Who needs coffee? Yeah, right. On the bonus, first of two. My favorite shot, least favorite shot, half Worcester. Pluck, plucked off the three and nine. Second ball to strike. Not a bad fill. Eight, 119, first string. Took him five marks, but 119 is a good score for the 108 ACST average bowler. And Kevin Dietrich's got some work to do. Now 13 halfway through and no marks. Up against five overall on the string. Don't need a bunch. Dietrich goes right, just three. That's the boy. 
with discount to 5 and 10. Things are actually 5 and 10 cents back at the old war with discount chains. Had the honor of working with Mike Warren this past Saturday at Scarborough, the Ladies Top 5 show. Great matches there again on Kenneth Moore Network. D triple nine, 54 for 6, down 12. Next Kenneth Pins for Cancer Roth coming a week from tomorrow, Tuesday, January 24th. The 29th. Nice ball there. Strike. And Kevin Dietrich in Danvers thinks he's in Augusta, Maine. 64 plus 2 through 7. Needed that one. His first mark of the match, a strike. Kyle four spares, one strike, and his 119. Southpaw going for another one. Look good. Six, seven, five, right. That goes away. It's the four, seven. Chance to cash in. Working on a strike. He missed it right. Rush that shot. Eight on a strike. 72 through seven down nine. Nine, 81 through eight down 13. He needs 38 to tie, 39 to win. So, Two big marks. The 14th seed trying to get back on track here in the second half. He was close to the playoffs last year. In the running to the last week and lost to Fernando Cachana. Won the whole thing. Something pro last year, not last week. Speaking of 1710 Augusta, Maine, Mark Carey's house, here's the 1710 leap. Mr. Wright, he's double strike now to win the string. That'll be a 9, 90 through 9, down 11, up against a strike 8. So he needs a triple strike to win by one pin. A double 9 to tie. And that 7 box in the first box is pinned pretty well. And it's a strike bid, 9, and Kyle Hetty will take the first two points. The man from Millis continues his playoff push for a higher seed. Bouncing back from 6th to 7th recently with Phil Clough. Doinks it. Tough break. He's just for the century mark. And that's the Paul Grant special. Mr. the second, make the third, a 10. 100 first string. Kyle Hetty, 119. Kevin Dietrich, 110. A 19-pin lead. The Atlantic Candlepin singles to a Class B Division Southern Conference. Kevin the North last year, now in the South. Paul Grant with you live. Sunnyside Bolodrome, Damage, Massachusetts. 119 to 100. Yes. One strike. That's good bidding for one mark, but not enough, obviously. Kyle, five marks to one. The difference. And Kevin will hit the reset button for lane for string number two. Kyle will lead off. Back to lane 12. Thank you for waking up this morning and watching the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour. Box them over. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, ten. Is that Woolworth discount again? They call it? Five and ten. Some call it the five and dime. Six for ten in the head pin that first time. And he gets it for a spare. Had a spare to start the first, a spare to start the second. Pins for Cancer again. It's next Tuesday, the 24th of January at Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass., 11 a.m. Thursday, January 26, 11 a.m. Saturday, January 28, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. On the bonus, dreaded half west. That's twice he's done that. 12 through 1. Sunday, January 29th, a special time, 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. due to the King of the River. $80 entry fee per ship. And then it's just loud. Good second ball. It's the 7 and the 8. Register Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. To bowl, if you can't bowl, you can donate. Help the bowl's charity. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Top five to live show March 12th at Bowl of Romer, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. All live streaming on Candlepin Bowling Network.
qualifiers came in the top five. Kyle Hetty at 10, 22 through 2. In the second and five. <coughs> Six marks and 12 boxes for the semi pro, now class B bowler. And then again, this time it's the three, six, and seven. What a try! Wow! Not an elephant. Six pin left up for a ten. Missed left for a nine. Thirty one through three. Kevin Dieter will look for some Cincinnati Bengals magic here when he comes up next. Oh. Eddie hooks it left, avoids the lemon drop, gets three. Both balls agree for the lemon drop pool of one dollar to help support Kalen Pinsley Cancer. Trying to get that going universally. The four or the six pin in your first shot. Five dollars in a spare strike if you'd like. Optional donation, no mandates. And there's a nice shot, spare! Just the thought of the lemon drop scared him and he got a spare instead. What do you want in the ball through four? Second spare of the string. That's six spares and one strike in the match. That's the lemon drop pool. Helps support candle pins for cancer. You can also Venmo your donation. Candle pins number four, cancer.com. Thank you for your help. On the bonus, seven again. Five, nine, and ten. Forty-eight through four. That would have come into play. Ken roll back. We just have to wait for the stop and see what happens. And comes to a standstill. Kevin Dietrich will remove that. So Kevin making another delivery here. Kyle Hattie Richard from West Springfield, Massachusetts. Now in Millis, Mass. Since 2018. Well, for a short time. In high school also. Wow, Atlanta Kindle Singles are a great place to, to get competition and get better at your game. They just bowl in different houses helps your game. And like Danny Finn said on the Approach Podcast was on, just bowling helps your game. And you look at, we're seeing, like Danny said, we're seeing people look at their high single, their high triple. And there's a nice shot there. Another spare, back to back. 58 and a ball through five here in the second. Third spare of the string. What a start for Kyle Hetty. Seven spares, one strike, and 15 boxes. This is supposed to be Class B, Kyle. Born like a pro. Trying to move up. And looking to move up to Class A next year. And that can be a challenge sometimes. As Pino Gachana won the whole thing last year. But it's great for your game. You'll get better and better. More practice, more competition you bowl. Different house you bowl, and you get used to it, and you'll get better and better. So please, if you want to bowl next season or your name of the list for replacement, Candleton's ACST, rather, you can uh, message Danny Finn on Facebook. Kevin Dietrich for a strike. He's got it. He's got only two marks to match, both strikes. Strike eight, and that's seven box for a string. And that that's broke down 110 by accident. That was actually 100, that first string on the bottom. It is early. It is early for me. I'm usually good at math. Sometimes I wonder. Twenty-five dollars. Buying his Wow shirt helps support Kendall Pinsley Cancer. Kevin D for double on the nose six. Chance here with the wood. The three six ten the seven. Two for two in the head pin to start the second. He only did it four times in the first. Can he kick it over? Oh, so close. Big nine, 19 through one, up seven right now. Down 12 in the match. Nine, 28 through two. Right now up six in the string, down 13 in the match. So Kyle, wearing a wild shirt helps you gain even more. I 
completely agree. I'm hoping to get a couple, uh, maybe a double strike today. All right. Which size you get? A large. Okay. Large black. All right. Wow. Wearing that WOW shirt. Another one sold. Over 350 shirts sold, supporting seven families minimum. Candle for cancer. Fun way to help a great cause. The WOW shirt and the lemon drop will all year round. Get you WOW on. One, two, and ten. He's got it. 38 to ball through three. Kevin Dietrich bowling like the old Kevin Dietrich. I'm not sure that's the same or not. <laughs> he said, don't hold your breath. The fun guy. Three for three in the head pin here in the second. Right there on the edge of the playoffs, like I said earlier, last year. Now is right now 14th, but like Danny Finn last year, Danny Finn was 51 and 75 the first nine. And back down, he was 90 and 36, hit number six seed. He made it to the finals and almost won the championship. Eight in the spare, 46 through three. He's up 15 in the string, down four in the match, but up against two spares. Another one, he's got it. Three out of four marks to start the second. 56 in the ball through four. Wow. On the spare, this time it's the Dave Chesticle League, we call it. That's a 4 2 split. 60 through 4. And a 100 in the first with one strike only. This time he's open. That's the 1 6 and 10. Thought he had it. And he'll get a 9. 69 and a half for the number 14 seed, Kevin Dietrich. He's up 11 right now. Minus the ball from Kyle Hetty. He's down in the match. The Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour. Matinee special. First of two matches today on the ACST Facebook page. Paul Graham with the live. Sunny Side Bowl going to damage Bass. Kyle won the first 119 to 100. We switch over to lane 11. On the spare, on to the left, he gets five. 63 half. 69 63, halfway through the second. Kevin's up six in the string, down 13 in the match. Got the two on the left, leads up the one, two, and the eight. Kyle Hetty. Nice out, nine. 72 through six. Kevin. Running total two, and one lead, and then one five, and two, and two one is strength, and then the match total difference. Kyle half pushed to right. Second ball. Four left, six ten right. Eight box, eighty through seven in the second of five from Danvers. What is the first one? One nineteen? One nineteen one hundred. Kyle won the first. With that? 119-100, yep. In the pocket, 9. Kingpin left up the 5-pin. For a spare, missed it. I hate the spy by itself. And that's the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10. 90 through 8 here in the second. This is Kevin Dietrich's hand, mighty, not mine. He's not bad, much better than mine, I guess. Yeah, Kyle won the first, 119, 100. We'll change that and update that for you. 
Evan. High on the head pin. Interesting leave here. Is that the 8, 9, 10? Wow. Use that plank to spin it around. Good effort. You only got one. You'll get another eight. Ninety-eight through nine. Pocket again, nine again. Second track of the kingpin, the five pin. For a spare, missed again. Can't believe it. Five for ten, the head pin, the string. Another Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a ten. 108 second string, 227 through two. And Kevin Dietrich has a six pin lead here in the string, down 13 in the match, up against an open half after that spare five, Bill. Kyle Hetty in the fifth. Did he catch up? Take the lead in the match. Great chance to take two points and match it at two apiece. Right. 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 crossing over and he's got the parallel pins left to right it's the seven four eight five ten Five for six. Give it six for six in the head pin. Or five for six, I should say. Five for six. You missed that shot. And that's a tough Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. It's three in the last few boxes combined. Ten, 79 through six. Up seven in the string, down 12 in the match. Chris Winniars, Nick Leach, tonight's 730 National on the ACST Facebook page. The Wizard on the road. Red Hot. Nick Leach, who lost 12 in the last 14, but Red Hot up to that point. Good second ball. has the 3 9 and the 10. So Nick Leach is 58 and 12 in his last five matches going to last match. So 60 and 24, his last six. Still a good trend. He took a 9, 88. Through seven in the second of five. Up eight in the string, down 11 in the match. It's 22 pins in three boxes to make it two points apiece. On the head pin, eight. Two in the four. The strike in the first is only Marcus. Strike in the second. Two spares. He's missed that chance. Sixty through four. He's been open since the last four boxes. Nine. Ninety-seven through eight. Up seven in the string. Down twelve in the match. Twelve pins to win the string. Two boxes. Five left up. One, three, six. The five behind the head pin, the eight in the back left. Good piece of wood to help the back row. Beautiful try, but two full look. Oh, you gotta be kidding. How did the head pin go by itself? You, are you kidding me? Wow, I've never seen that before. Have you, Kyle? Wow. That's a bad wow. Into the check mark. The tough seven. 104 through nine of six in the string. Down 13 in the match. 
and he only has five pins to win the string. But he's not taking advantage of Kyle's open half. That's a tough lead, the 5 6 10. 70% of the head pin that second string here, four in the first. Oh, he got it! That doesn't go too often. The boom is a little bit higher up, it helped. Spare in the 10th, 114 the ball. So he's won the second string, we're tied, two, piece, two points apiece. Play that wood first. A 10 fill, give a 16 pin wood, he'd be down three in the match with three strings to go. On the fill, as the Caleri, five fill, 119, matching Kyle Hetty's first string. 229 through two, correction, 219 through two. It's an eight pin lead for Kyle Hetty. The Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, Class P Division, Southern Conference. Follow Grant you live on the ACST Facebook page. Good match. First to two today. Kyle Hetty starting string number three. Up on me, Hello, John Nichols. Yep, I put up one. Uh, yeah, John, you. I just said it wrong. I put it down wrong. One ten. Fixed to one hundred. Thank you. Absent mind is times. What else is new? And I call this a banana split. You take a banana, you chop it with a big knife. One goes one way, one goes the other way. So I'm called the pinochle. I like to call. I like the, I like the banana split better. I like banana splits. Four, seven, six, ten. Starting the third. Try is it with a 710 NFL goalpost? Little Margaret, thanks for watching again. It's a great game of candle from bowling. Kyle Hetty up for the match, the nine to start the third. Six head pin hits in the first, five in the second. Scores of 119 and 108. The baby's watching the game, Kevin, huh? Yeah, the baby's watching me. She's well, watching Kyle, not you, though, right? No, yeah, she's thinking <laughs> from Kyle. She's, told, she's rooting for Kyle, right? I told Caleb, Josh can teach her how to bowl, because I'm like a sophomore, up and down. Is, is she watching Kyle? She's rooting for Kyle, not you, right? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> tough, tough crowd, huh? <laughs> My own house, too. His own house, we're against him. <laughs> oh, and fine. Kyle's open, one, three, seven, eight. Second box, third string. Seven, 16 through two. Kevin cheering him on. Kyle Hetty in the pocket. That looked good. Eight, you can say eight only. Wood too far to the right. Seven, eight left up. Let me try to tap it left. Might as well take a chance. As he tries, it won't go. Yeah, spare to open up the first two strings. Not this string. This time it's nine, twenty-five, and three. Nine, seven, nine. The first two strings, pretty close. Kyle actually by 19. Kevin, one strike only. I want to swing pin well. He wins a second. 219. Kevin, 227. Kyle, all up by eight. Tied two points apiece. We'll zoom back in. Nice shot with a five go, not quite. Yeah, you got the full horses in front, the Kamarowski special, they call it. The Kamarowski had Millis also, holding for years. 
Kyle Hetty from Millis, and Ryan Kelly Mutants gets a 10, 35 through 4, in the third of five. All right, help. In the pocket, nine. He had two kingpin hits in that last string. He missed them both. And that cost him a string. One by 19, lost by 11. Three for five and a hit pin. He missed again. All for three in singles. Ouch. Nine, 44 half, open half. Open the last 10 boxes, going back to last string. And Kevin Dietrich can take the lead in the match. As Kyle's back halfway through his match. Kevin needs 52 to tie the match. Now oh, it's terrific the first string and a half. Ice cold since. Thin hit there. Just three. Got decent wood though to help drive. Yeah. Good effort there. Not your pin. Not much. Two seven six ten. Terrific match early in the morning here in Danvers. Dietrich will start off with a seven, maybe an eight. Maybe it'll be a seven. Right now it's down two in the string, ten in the match, but only needs fifty-two to tie. Kevin, three two split, one three six four seven left. Beautiful ball almost. Nine, 16 through two, tied box to box in the string. He's down eight in the match. We're tied two points apiece. BCST average coming in 106.73. This 18 week season, bowling twice a month on average. Flexible schedule. You can bowl for three weeks in advance. So the bowl is not available, you can bowl ahead. It's great about this Atlantic Elephant Singles Tour. Class A, Class B, Class C. This is Class B, Southern Conference. Check mark, horseman, and yeah, can't take advantage. That's the 4 7. Ten, 26 through 3, up 1 in the string, down 7 in the match. A mark away. This season is ACST high single, just 133. ACST high 5, 567. Was bowled well in Augusta, Maine. Nice ball there. Dominoes almost delivered. Nine the wiggle. And yesterday in uh, Agawam, a guy actually stomped his foot on the opposite side of the ball. They got a nine drop and a wiggle and it actually fell down. So he got a pounding strike, you could say. And Dietrich picks up the spare. We have a virtual tie in the match. Is there a dip for you? Uh, I can just tell you one going on. Kevin, four spares, two strikes to the match. On the bonus, seven. 43 through four, we're tied to the match. For another one, good try. Ten, he leads the match. Paul, tell Steve Boyd to make that. Made the seven by himself. You saw that, right? Tell Steve Boddy. Steve Boddy. Kevin Dietrich said he made a 10 box. 
Raise the flag, he said. 53-44. Kevin Dietrich up nine in the string, one in the match. Halfway through the match, you're watching the Atlantic Candlefin Singles Tour, Class B Southern Conference from Sunnyside Bulldrome, Route 35, Damage, Massachusetts. Next to my hometown, originally from Salem, Mass. Paul Graham with you live on the ACST Facebook page. All the Candlefin Lanes, myself, both here a few times after the Candlefin Lanes closed in the early 90s. We got a car My grandfather took me here a few times on Friday mornings. Senior League. Kyle has the one, three, and the five. Missed the left. Missed three single pins, two in the second, one here in the third. Over the ten. And that's another Paul Grant special. We'll Missed the second, make the third. Seen a bunch of those today. 54 through 6 in the third of five. <laughs> Kyle Hetty, Miller Pass. 1 7, spare chance. Open so far here in the third. Had four spares, one strike in the first, three spares in the second. And it won't go. He's pinned pretty well. That's seven box. In the second box of the string. All nines and tens otherwise. Not that Kevin Dieter can know what ten boxes. I'll get a good side. Kyle and nine, 63 through seven. A lot of good banter in Canada from bowling, obviously. Josh Daly and Steve Monty and Kevin Dietrich and others. Peck is even his, own, his even young daughter is rooting for him. His, his daughter's rooting for Kyle Hetty today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just teasing Kevin here, having a good time. Kyle, the bundle of six left up. Still looking for his first mark in the third. Don't get it here. That's the one of nine. Match is tied, two points apiece. Kyle down one at the halfway point of the match. Nine, 72 through eight. Candle Prince for Cancer is a 501c3 charity helping the bolus and their family members, relatives, some of the cost of chemo treatments. Please help out with your donation, any amount, $1 on. The Lemon Drop Pool, a great way to do it. And wow shirts, Candle Prince number four, cancer.com, Candle Prince number four. Dot com to bowl and roll us what today. Here's the Kimrowski special in Millis after Rick Kimrowski, the 69 year old veteran. He's very good at these shots. 13610. Don't get in there either. We actually started the uh, the Kimrowski special pool for Horseman. I said, hey, give Rick Kimrowski a dollar every time he got one. And that gave me the idea for the lemon drop pool, actually. So indirectly, Rick Kimrowski is a reason why the lemon drop pool came through. True story. Ten bucks for Kyle, 82 through 9. And Rich Lamone, if you're listening, it wasn't because of you. It wasn't making fun of you. I didn't even know about that connection to you and lemon drop at the time. It was, I was innocent. Kyle Hetty trying to get a mark in the 10th. Has a chance. The triangle, 6, 9, 10. Just four headpin hits here in the third. They'll use this. He got it. 92 in a ball in the 10th. Eight spares, one strike in the match. Needs eight for the century mark. He's down nine halfway through the string. Right in the pocket, beautiful shot, eight, and even 100. Third string. Three twenty-seven through three, one pin average, higher than his ACST and league average of 108. 119, 108, 100 for Kyle Hetty. Kevin Dietrich, a chance now to 
but four points to two. Trying to get back in the playoff race in the second half of the season. He's 48 in five boxes. He's down eight. He's one in the match right now, overall. He has the bundle of six. It's a good break for Kyle Hetty. He had gone 14 boxes in a row without a box. Well, that's spare eight in the tenth. Kevin open with the one and the ten. And he joins it for a ten. Back to back tens. Three in the last four. 63 through six. Up nine in the string. One in the match. Two strings to go after this. And on the road tonight to Lita Lane's National New Hampshire. Take on the Wizard at Nick Leach. Two tremendous bullers. Have a three seed, number seven seed matchup on the ACST Facebook page. Kevin Seven the one, has the three six ten. Spare chance. He's got it. Second spare of the string. 73 and a ball for seven. No spares. One strike in the first. One strike before we got three spares in the second. Three spares here in the third. Correction, two spares here in the third. And a spare seven in the fourth. On the bonus, six, one, three, seven, nine behind the three. 79 through seven, up 16 in the string, up eight in the match. Can't connect, has the one nine left up. He is up against a spare eight in the tenth from Kyle Hetty. Look at a nine, 88 through eight, up 16 in the string, eight in the match. So he has two tens, will be tied with two strings to go. In the pocket, seven, eight. Two pieces would collide, they separate from each other. They roll away. He's got a clean shot in the five and the nine. He's got it, a spear in the ninth. He's going to win the string, go up four points to two after being down by 19 after one. Chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. Leads the match. I lost the ball. What do I have? Uh, I got a box. Now he has three spares in the string. Just missed. And he gets seven. One, three, and the ten. 105 through nine. For another one. Bang! 150 in the ball in the tenth. Back to back spares. Seven in the match with two strikes. He has the match lead going into the fourth string. Hooks to left. Oh, he avoided the lemon drop. Oh, he did! That's five dollars for Kittlefish for cancer. He wants that. He wants that nine pin to go down. And Kyle and myself are ribbon Kevin Dietrich a lemon drop fill. The Mark Ritchie rule, I call it. Five dollar donation to Kittlefish for cancer. A fun way up a great cause. And he gets a chuckle. One sixteen, a fine string. <laughs> we got a good one, guys. Three thirty five to 327, an eight pin lead in the match for Kevin Dietrich. Oh. An upset on paper. Look at that lemon drop pool, folks. Take a picture of that one for Kevin Dietrich. Put that on Facebook, guys. No, oh, it's Take, wiggling. It's still wiggling. His, daughter, his daughter is loving it. Root for Kevin, uh, root for Kyle Hetty today, anyway. Two strings to go. The Atlantic Kennelpin Singles Tour. Boy, I need some sleep. The Atlantic Kennelpin Singles Tour, Class B Southern Conference from Sunnyside Bowl, Drum Danvers, Mass, Paul Grant Live. On the ACST Facebook page, another good match here. That's slipping right out of my hand. Slipping right out. Get that five dollars out, Kevin. Yeah, that was your gas money. Hey, one, two left up. So now, Kevin, earlier today you said you a bunch of lemon drops. How much do you owe on back taxes on lemon drops? 
Don't send the IRS after me. <laughs> I don't remember. Short, short term memory. And a square for Kyle Hetty. Back to back squares. If you consider overlapping strings, 10 of the ball to start the fourth to five. Red hot in the first. Four spares, one strike, a 119. And a strike eight to close that one out. Spare eight to close out the third. A spare to start the fourth. On the bonus, off to the left, four, 14 through one. Where did I get that off here? Kevin lost that last streak, 116 to 100. He's open here. What, 16? Which one's up? The 117 Augusta, Maine special. Shout out to Mark Carey and Samantha Bryant. 21 through 2. Kyle just 2 that time. That was the best lemon drop I've ever seen on a fill for Kevin Dietrich. <laughs> Kevin Kev is an easy target. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. I, well, I missed the last two matches. <laughs> no, come on, Kevin. You got to be open about those lemon drops in the past. Come on, you no, got to be open. No. You got to be open about that. I don't hold bad tackles. <laughs> Cal Hetty, six box, I believe. Six it is. Twenty-seven through three after a spare four start. A seven and a six. There's a good ball in the pocket for strike. That looked good. He gets eight. Wood to help. The nine and ten. We're behind it too. It's like trying. For a spare. No. Too far back. That would be a little behind it. Ten. Thirty-seven through four in string number four. A great matchup here in this first of two today on the ACST Facebook page. Kyle was all over the first. Kevin won the second. Kevin won the third. Up eight in the match. Kyle Hetty, nine. Both of three so far on single pins. Cash in. No. All for four and singles. Yikes. What am I doing? Another Paul Grant special. He's a bunch of those today. 10, 47 through 5. Missed the second, make the third. Disappointing half, 47. Kevin Dietrich up eight in the match, starting his fourth string here in Danvers at Sunnyside Bolodrome. Projected Friday night Pro League game of the week, pending approval. Wooper in one, number two seed coming into last Friday night, taking on Mark Ritchie and Dirk Walk Lanes after 8 p.m. on the Kenneth and Bowling Network live Facebook page. Thank you to Justin Thayer of Agawam Bowl and Jim Feely for outstanding match yesterday. 46 bowlers smashing the previous record of 21 bowlers. And lots and lots of money raised for Candle Fence for Cancer. The crowd, the bowlers, are tremendous, very enthusiastic, very generous. Thank you to the fans out in Agawam Bowl for your great support supporting Candle Fence for Cancer and great for the support of Candle Fence Bowling. A great crowd on hand. For a spare, he's got it. Spare to start the fourth. Eight spares, two strikes in the match. It's a 47 half from Kyle Hetty. On the bonus. No lemon drop this time. 
No five dollar charge. I would have walked home. <laughs> walked home, you said, if you got one. Four in the field, like Kyle, 14 for one. Tied box to box. Good second ball, but he has the 4 10 split. Joints it for an eight, 22 through two. Up one in the string, up nine in the match. Kevin Bowles in the same division as number two seed Mike DiGiani, who's been brilliant this year, 91 and 49. Rich coaching. And Sam Ladati with a four bagger. Four strikes in a row. Not bad for a class B bowler. Three in that ball. Four division leaders Mike Legender, 88 and 38. Mike DiGiani, second at 91 and 49. Dan Esdale. We now balls my old team after Bob Lee took my place when I got injured. Millis on Friday night with Rick Kimrowski, Deb Kimrowski. 70 and 42. Fourth seed Dave Edison bowled that Friday night mixed league also with me. 65 and 47. Dave had a great year, resurgent year after a down year last year. It's good to see Dave back. Nine for Kevin, 23 through three in the fourth of five. Correction 31. The four in the spring, 12 in the match. And you got the four spin right, the Kimowski special. One, three, six, ten. So Kyle, if you make a four spin today, you tell Rick Kimowski, you made the Kimowski special. No one's got it today yet. The four wild cards, Mike Capone, 69 and 43. Phil Clough, bouncing back with Kyle Hetty from 6 to 7. He's 78 and 62. Kyle Hetty today, right here. Four points behind Phil Clough, number six at 68 and 58. As Kevin gets an eight, 39 through four, up two in the string. Eighth seed is Mr. Rick Kimrowski, special himself. 74 66. Triangle plus to 10 for Kevin Dietrich. Four, seven, ten. And like Kyle, spare four to start, open since. Another close string. Close match, seven. Kyle up by one, halfway through the fourth of five. The Atlantic Candlepin single store continues. Here from Sunny Sip Old, John Davis Mass, the Southern Conference. All great you live on the Atlantic Candlepin single store Facebook page. Another great match, like I said earlier. The wizard, Chris Winniard, is bringing his wand to lead the lanes tonight against Red Hot Nick Leach. He won two Pro Series titles last year. One with Austin Barnes in the lead the lanes doubles, and he won the 10 string at Riverwalk in November. For a 7 and 35 start, he has pulled overall well of late. 7.30 tonight, give or take. On the 16 Facebook page, Class A Northern Conference. Kyle Hetty, 1378. Hello, Dan Chenard. Thanks for watching this great game of Candle and Bowling. Hetty for spare. It looks good, almost. Last year is a 105 average ball in the ACST. This year is 108, almost 109 in this league. Or in the ACST, rather, and 108 in this league. He gets a 9, 56 through 6. So, bowling the competition will improve your game. I encourage you. Join the ACST next year. Of course, a substitute. Atlanta Kennelton Singles to a Class A, B, and C, and maybe a Class D. Danny Finn's talking about it for a while. Check mark plus to 10. It's got two pieces of wood to work with. All but the 10. And that'll be a 9, 65 through 7 here in the fourth. I agree, Dan. You got the Caleri, you know, you got all these nicknames, the half Worcester. Why not the Kamrowski special instead of the four horsemen? Kyle Hetty, parallel pins again. Parallel time. Once again. Not an easy shot. And almost pulled it off. Will he get it? He does get it. 
Pumps his fist, sweeping shot off the wall. Excellent shot, 75 in the ball through eight. Wow. That was a beautiful shot. Second spear of the string. Ten spears, one strike in the match. Can you take advantage? Just four. Just like the first box in the string. 79 through eight. Great match. Just inside, he swept it back and stole the illegal block in the back. Throw the flag. Back-to-back -back spins will take it. 89 of the ball through nine. Missed four single pins. Two last string, two this string. I'll make up one of them as you clear the wood. I have to reset on lane 11. Sometimes you just need a break to get you going. Trying to even up the match at four points apiece. He won the first, 119-100. 119-100. Lost the second, 119-108. Lost the third, 116-100. 116-100. And once again, 4-4-4 four, four, four in the spares. Three spare fours in the string. 93 through 9. Almost in the head pin. Kicking himself on that one again. Can he bounce back in the hole? Brutal. Three for the century mark. What a yikes. A five. How about that? 98. Gotta be kidding me. It can be a cruel game sometimes. 425 through four. And Kevin Dietrich a chance to go up six points to two. He'll need at least one mark to do it. Another exciting finish here. The Atlantic Hamilton single still continues from Danvers. Help promote this game. Help your friends and family get involved in Canop and Bowling all year round. Support Canop and Bowling Centers and help people and family and friends get involved in this great game. Canop and gift cards all year round. Birthday parties, gift cards, and more. Tomorrow night, we'll be in Maine again. Scarborough, Maine. Kelsey Layton will be covering with Shannon Scribner, Kristen Hayes, Sue Brown, Brooke Bettage, Amanda Carroll. She went to a birthday party. Kelsey Layton at age five at the old vacation land, Osako, Maine. And she loved it. It's been bowling ever since. She's bowling around 100 now. It's that women's doubles finals with Shannon Scribner. You can watch that thrilling match on Kenneth Moore Network against Deb DeRocher and Glennis McKinley. Dietrich, 136. Just missed. Not by much. So the Toronto Knights, 6.30 on Canelop and Bowling Network from the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, Mike Walker's house. Great owner, great man, and the owner of the main, president of the Maine Canelop and Bowling Association as well. 9.55 through 6 down, 1 in the string of 7 in the match. One string to go after this. And this left has the 1, 3, and the 7. Only mark a spare four in the first. Just inside. Don't need a mark to win this string. Another Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. A bunch of those this morning. We're tied at 65 apiece in the string. Kevin's up eight in the match. Three boxes to go here in the fourth. On the nose. Can't get the split to break up. He's got baby split. He's got some decent wood to help. Three in the right, two, four in the left. And a sweeping shot won't go. What a try. So he gets a pair of spare fours and a five box. Nine, 74 through eight. Here's the update on the scores. Watch to go here in the fourth. Kevin needs 25 to win the string. Watch six points to two. A lemon drop. Six dollars to save for him. Five on a mark. One here. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. And now he steals the head pin. He has the three, six, ten, the eight on the left. He'll need a mark in the tenth to win. 
And we're looking at a possible tie going into the fifth string. Six. 80 through nine. A 10 box to tie the match and to tie the points at four piece. Then we get to five box, but that six box against a spare four didn't help. So those two pieces of wood in the gutter. One string to go. Good to see Justin Scally doing some calls again this weekend. He's available also to call some matches. Message on Facebook. Kevin needs to cash in here, the one and the eight. Can he pick it up? Yes, big spare in the 10, 90 in a ball. Second spare, the string book in marks. One of the first, one of the 10th. Nine overall with two strikes, eight to tie, nine to win. The match is dead even right now. Whatever he gets here is to lead the match. Can he win the string? He hooks it. Four. And Kyle Hetty wins it by four. Four's a wild. We had four fills four times. Make it five in the string. Five out of the six marks were spare fours. In fact, actually, we had five spares in the mat, the string. All were four fills. Kyle wins it by four. And Kevin leads it by four with one string to go through four. <laughs> go figure. What a match. The Atlantic Kennelfin singles tour continues. Sunnyside Ball, John Danvers Mass, Paul Green with your lives on the ACST Facebook page. This is Class B Southern Conference. And who wants it more now? Hetty crossing over. That looked good. Into the 2 1 split. 6 9 to 7. Kevin. Kevin. Good try. The violin shot. That's the Star Trek character. 7 of 9. We'll talk to the Bulls before we sign off. The field goal. 8 to start the fifth and final string. Piled out four in the match. I'm just trying to fix the scoreboard there. Wow, 98 to 94 in that fourth string. Oh. Yeah. in that first ball. Kevin disappointed with that finish in that string. Petty. One, five in the middle, seven, nine in the back. Seven box, 15 through two. Final string. Hey, four two split. Andre Payne won't carry, has the 4 7 6 to the right. Trying to get the short 2. It's 1 for an 8, just 23 through 3. Tight battle here in Danvers. Look at this. Boy pin lead. Parallel pins again, plus the seven. 
Maybe we'll come back in just a moment. I want to show that again. Goes home, tuning in late. For a spare, only got the seven to go. Back to parallel time, the parallel pins. Eddie, Nate, 31 to four. He's had some droughts. Went 14 at one point without a mark after five marks in that first string. We're tied four points apiece in the match. Fifth box, fifth string, crossed them over. Another ball with discount. The five and ten. No wood, no luck. Just missed, not by much. Field goal at eight, just 39 half. Promising start, 119 first. Going down every string since. And Kyle Eddie on the road trying to hang on. Kevin Dietrich, the home bowler. We have 39 half, up four in the match. Starting his fifth, and 11. left-hander on the nose, 247 and the six to the right. Great, great match. All morning long. Dietrich, good try. Six and the seven. Eight. Tied box to box. He's up four in the match. By Chenilles. Here we go again. Another ACST. Fantastic finish. Kevin. Only four. I've never seen a match, a string with five marks, all spare fours. And a four pin win and a four pin difference in the match after that. On the head pin, he has the 247 leaves up against the seven here and three eights. Kyle with the eight, seven, and three eights. Crazy eights for Kyle. Seven and eight. 16 through two. Low scoring start here in the fifth. Up one in the string. He's up five in the match. Thursday now being South Paris, Maine again. Rush Neely Jr., Chris Merrill, Mike Jakes, and others. On Kenneth Moore Endeavor, just up to 6.30 p.m., 6.45 or so. South Paris, Maine, special edition. Tomorrow night also, featuring Amanda Carroll, Shannon Scribner, Burke Betteridge, Kelsey Layton, Sue Brown, Kristen Hayes, on the ACST, I'm uh, sorry, the Kenneth Bowling Network, rather. Kenneth Bowling Network, Facebook page live. Big 20 in South Paris, Tuesday and Thursday night, 6.30 or so, start time. Kevin and 8. 24 through 3, still up 1 in the string, still up 5 in the match. Off to left, just 3, he got a lemon drop, spare 1 to end the 3rd string, he won 116 to 100. He got a lemon drop on the last string, so $6 to get up with the answer. Now he's got the 1, 3, 4, 7. So once again, not taking advantage of Kyle's low-scoring half. But a nice out there, a nine to gain a pin. 33 through four, up two in the string, up six in the match. Kevin's next three matches at number 10, Glenn Gill and Millis. He's not to bowl well there. Glenn is on, back on the move. In the pocket, eight. Chance here with a six and 10. Then he plays at Brian Fournier, also in the lesson. Home against number, that's number nine, Brian Fournier. Then home here against number three seed, Dan Esdale. And Dietrich can't connect with a spare. Open half of both bowlers. Sits at the stage for a dynamite finish. Nine, 42 half. Five blocks to go for each bowler. 
the Atlantic Candlepin Single Store Class B Southern Conference, Sunnyside Bowl Drum Tampas Mass, Group 35. Paul Grant, you live. Great to be with you this morning. First of two matches today. Kevin's up three in the string. He's up seven in the match. Switch over to lane 12. Please like, share, subscribe to the ACST Facebook page. Get your friends and family involved in this outstanding game at Kenneth Rowling. Heady. Six. One, two, four, the eight. Hiding behind the two. First spare. Yes. Wow, we have one. First spare, the string. 49 of the ball through six. A virtual tie in the match. He's saying a four fill. He had five of those, all five marks, last being all four fills combined. Three for Kyle, two for Kevin. Seven to tie the match, virtually. Crossing over, five, six. 55 through six in the final string of the match. For another one. What a try, almost. Not a fall, Phil. And the fourth Phil saga is over. That'll be a nine out of the gutter. 64 through seven. So we want to get at least one mark to put the pressure on Kevin Dietrich. So Kevin, because our next will be up against a spare six. Up seven, halfway through the fifth. Kyle bought his wild wow shirt here today. Black, large t-shirt. Ten dollars of that goes to Kendall Pins for Cancer. Over 350 shirts sold now. 43 the last two days. 13 in Scarborough, the women's top five live show. Watching on Kendall Moore Network. And the King of the Hill yesterday with myself, Drew Steele, and Bob Lee. 40, 40, 40, 40 wild wow shirts sold yesterday. Astonishing accomplishment. Tag on pole. Can't step on the ball. It's there. And the, the owner's there. Jim Bailey and others. Great job there. We recognize Brenda LeMagdalene. High single record of 207 with the ladies as well. Okay. 5, 9, 10 for spare. No. the 10 with the wood 74 through 8 two boxes to go then Kevin Dietrich has a chance to go either way could be 10-4 be the baller could be 6-8 six, 8-6 eight. Eight, six. could be 7-7 seven, seven. the way it's going they've each won two strings wait for lane to reset and if you're joining in late while waiting for the lane to reset this is what happened the first four strings the stage is set for another dramatic finish. Kyle, 119-100. Kevin, 119-108. Kevin, 116-100. Kyle, 98-94. Kevin, 429-425 through four. And halfway through the match, the lead is seven. Kyle had a spare six, a nine, and a ten. And we'll show the scores on the sheet while we're waiting. I want to remind you one more time about the Kalenpins against the roll-up starting next Tuesday, January 24th, 11 a.m. at Riverwalk Lane. It's Mark Ritchie's house. Been a great supporter of Kalenpins for Cancer. So we're rolling off there. Tuesday, January 24th, Thursday, January 26th, both 11 a.m. Saturday, January 28th, 11 a.m., 2 p.m. Sunday, special time, 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. due to King of the River, January 29th, Sunday. $80 entry fee. Unlimited entries allowed per shift. Kalenpins number four, cancer.com. Candlepins number four, cancel out on the bowl. What's the door? The bowl's charity. Steals eight, eight, nine. Wood to help. Top five that live show, March 12th. Question bowl around me. Question the answer. High piece of wood. He's going to go right on that front wood, I believe. That's how I would play it. Let's see how Kyle Hetty plays it. He went the other one instead and got it. What do I know? I was a regular league bowler for years. 
Either way, it could have gone. You got it, though. Spare in the ninth. 84 in a ball. Second spare of the string. 13 spares. One spike in the match. If that would declare. So this is going to put the pressure. Kevin's going to need at least one mark for the string and total now. Pending the fill. <laughs> Cosmos, four single pins for spares. 0 for 4 in singles. That's kept Kevin Dietrich in the match. Kevin had the shot of the day, the lemon drop, spare fill for $5 for Kendall Pins for Cancer. So everybody got Kendall Pins Jack and Teasel. The phone went up a great cause. The lemon drop pulled a four of the six in your first shot. We ask optional donation, no mandates to donate Kendall Pins number four, cancer.com. Five and a mark. On the bonus, six, seven, three, nine, and the ten. Wood to help. 91 through 9. For a spare. No. 9 and 10. 1 for 100. He does. Back to back 100 strings. The two of the last three, I should say. 100 fifth string. Five twenty-five on the road, just under his average. And Kevin Dietrich is up seven in the match, but up against two spares. Needs one on one. To win the string, he'll get ten points if he does that. Kyle can still get ten points. If Kyle if uh, Kevin gets a ninety-five or less. Anyone's game still. Dietrich crossing over. The blow with disc on the Ken, the 5 and 10. Up against a spare 6 here in the 6 points, 5th string. Good try. Open. Nine, fifty-one through 6. Kevin's up 4 in the string. And guess what, folks? The match is tied. Four boxes to go. This thrilling final match. Final string of the match. Just missed the pocket. It's got the post. One, three, six, ten, seven left. One piece of wood. Two actually in back. Beautiful shot. He got it. Big spear in the seventh. 61 of the ball. He needs at least one more, more than likely. That could be huge for total. First spare of the string. Ten spares, two strikes to match. On the bonus, just missed. The Caleri, five on the fill. 66 through seven. Up two in the string, six in the match. Get the mark. He's got it. Wow, what a sharp spare. Back to back. 76 in the ball through eight here in Danvers. He's up six in the match. But he's up against a spare seven here. Ninety-five to lose the match. More or less. Good chance now. Looks it, steals eight, a gift, the seven nine Star Trek character. Eighty four through eight. Seventeen to win the spring and take ten points. But the wood, not this time. Good shape to win total minimum. And a chance to win the string now. Nine. Ninety three. Through nine, he's up two in the strength, six in the match. He needs three pins to tie the match, four to win the match. He needs eight to take the string and take ten points. On the head pin, six. 
He's won the match total. Two to win the string. And he's got it. And after being down 19 after one, he comes back. And a terrific match, a 10. And what a battle, 103 to 100. Incredible bowling by both guys. Go that far. Come on, come on. You don't want the feeling. 103 to 100 in the fifth. Kevin Dietrich wins it. 434. We'll check the official math in just a moment here. Here's the box for boxes. Guys, can you put the scores up here? We'll put the scores on the screen. Talk to the bowlers before we sign off. Yeah, I put this up first. No, we put this up first. You're missing the You're missing the time. Yeah. You're missing the hundred. I'm like, oh no, we're going to pull 400. We'll talk to Kevin and Kyle before we sign off. Just a great, great match. Kyle at Rich Coach. next at Central Park Lanes. Home against Bob Lee and Millis. And number one seed, Mike Legender and Millis. His next three matches. I have, uh, Let's put the screens up. And Kevin Dietrich will take on Glenn Gill and Millis. His uh, favorite place to bowl. Bryant Fournier on the road, home against number three seed, Dan Hesdale. Brutal schedule for him coming up. But good for him winning 10 points today. Hard fought battle. Kyle won the first, 119 100. Kevin won the second and the third. Kyle hung on to win the fourth. Kevin wins the fifth. Final score of 532 to 525. A seven pin win. Let's talk to the Bulls before we sign off. Kyle, that wow show was good luck for you early on. Yeah, I just uh, I was on it for a couple strings, and then usually there's always one string in there where I kind of just fall off and I lose the head pin, and I'm just battling to try to get it back. And it was just too too many missed singles. You missed four single pins. That, that was the difference, I think, in the match. I think you can't the, make them all, obviously. I think the missed singles and then the four fills really added up yeah. after time. So I had fun. It was a great match. It was the first time here at Sunnyside. It was uh, it was good. It was the first time out of Millis in a while. So yeah. you class that. You're a great bowler, great guy. Uh, Tell the viewers who don't know you how you got started in the Kenneth and bowling and perhaps one of your favorite bowling moments. Uh, I besides, started, besides buying a wow shirt. <laughs> I started bowling with my dad and his brothers at uh, Agawam Bowl um, from high school. Did that for a couple of years. And then I uh, actually broke my leg snowboarding. And then I started full-time work. And then I moved to Mills back in 2018. Found a league. And then uh, so far my best achievement was in the, uh, the finals of Tuesday Night League. And I had a triple strike and triple strike nine fill to put our team ahead, and we won by just a couple of pins. So it was great. It wasn't a four fill. No, no four fill. <laughs> no more of those, please. All right. No limit. No five. Listen, great, great, great attitude, great spirit. Love your game. Love your style. Uh, continue success to you. Number seven C coming today. Good luck the rest of the season. Right. Hope to see you in the playoffs. Thank you. Thanks, Kyle Hetty. And Kevin Dietrich, the upset special. Your daughter, your two-year-old daughter. One, one and a half. One and a half. Close one enough. Yeah. She was rooting for Kyle Hetty today, it looked like, okay. on Facebook. Everyone doesn't like me. It's okay. I'm fine with that. Can you feel the love? Yeah, everyone loves me. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. So explain that one doll, that uh, one fill lemon drop, spare fill. It just slipped with right the nine pins, my, With the nine pin wiggling. It just slipped right out of my hand. It didn't want to fall. It's like you got to donate money to Paul Grant and Candle for Cancer. Yeah, not for me. It's for Candle for Cancer. Not yeah. for me. It's, it's all about the bowlers. I tried to wiggle it. It didn't want to fall. It's six dollars and plus back too. So we'll look. 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 Back. I don't remember. Kyle didn't remember either. We have to sell your house. That's okay. <laughs> so talk about the win. You're down 19 after one. You kept chipping away, chipping away, yeah, chipping just, away. When I was talking to the guys yesterday in Augusta, they go, "Let's do one box at a time. Roll it. Just forget what you did last box." Keith and Steve were big help yesterday. Right. And I'm like, all right, just roll it. And they started off horrible yesterday and finished strong. Bowling good, all right. And just keep going with it. All right, so every box at a time. A five-pin win in the match, 10 points to four. But great bowler and Kyle Hetty, the number seven seed. Kyle and I, good battle. A good battle after the snow's going. Do you have a three-letter word? Describe winning 10 points to four against Kyle Hetty. Wow. Don't be so excited. Yeah, well, I owe five bucks. No, six. <laughs> <laughs> Plus back dues. <laughs> Kevin Dietrich, 10 points, Kyle Hetty, 4. Tonight, 7.30 at Leadlands, Lanes, New Hampshire. It's Nick Leach, the two-time Pro Series winner from 2022. Takes on the wizard, Chris Winniards, the number three seed at Leadlands, Lanes, National New Hampshire. 7.30 tonight, give or take, on the ACST Facebook page. From Sunnyside Bowl, Drum, Damas, Mass, Paul Grant, signing off for now. Thanks for watching this great game of Kenneth and Bowling on the ACST Facebook page. I had to pull a walk and flight, and I'm like, I'll never check my